Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. I just figured I would vlog tonight slash unboxing. Anyway, I just showered. It is the middle of winter here in Brisbane and it is cold. I've got the heater on. I've just put all of this vitamin E and rosehip oil on my face because I have dry skin on a good day, let alone in winter. I've just ripped off all of my cushions, I'm cleaning them, and I'm gonna do like a homemade little baked dinner. And I love cooking, but I rarely cook. Leo is out with the boys having a pub dinner, so he'll be having a palmy and a beer probably. But I have decided that I'm on a health kick, not really. Uh, I'm gonna do like a baked fish and veggies type situation. And I don't know whether I should pour myself a glass of wine or tea, because it's so cold and I just kind of feel like tea. I could have wine then tea. I could have wine and tea. Anyway, so we're just gonna, I'm not following a recipe or anything, we're just gonna like put the veggies on, put the fish on, put it in the oven, and unbox my shopping. So I went homewares shopping the other day with my mum, and it's like my favourite kind of shopping to do, almost, other than like luxury goods. And I bought this new wooden chopping board, and I didn't know, I have lived 24 years without knowing that you have to oil wooden chopping boards. I thought that I just had a really violent dishwasher that was like breaking them and snapping them, but no. Turns out you just need to oil them. So if you didn't know that, oil your chopping boards. Apparently every four to six weeks, which seems excessive to me, but it was expensive, so I'm gonna take care of it. I'm just going to chop up some halloumi. I've got some bassa fillets, so I'm just gonna pop them on the pan and chop up some asparagus. I would have had broccolini, but they didn't have any at Coles. I've got a pack of red cherry tomatoes, golden cherry tomatoes, and I usually have basil growing in my herb garden, but it's it's all dead. I really need to redo my herb garden. And asparagus. I kind of feel indifferent towards asparagus, to be honest. And then I'm going to make like a tomato pesto with lemon, garlic, and butter. That's what we're going to do. Just all over the whole thing. Just like a one tray dish. It's halloumi. Maybe I should write a cookbook. <laughs> Throw it all in and hope for the best is what I call it. So I've just melted some butter. I'm gonna go in with this olive oil, just like a splash. Am I gonna do garlic? Like maybe a tablespoon, I guess. Am I gonna do probably like a tablespoon, sorry, a teaspoon of finely chopped chili. The juice of a quarter of a lemon. I'm also going to add in like a good little heap of basil. So this is what our tray is looking like. Oh my gosh, I have capsicum, I forgot. Haha, <laughs> yay. I'm just going to add this tomato pesto to that little butter herb situation. So I probably used half of the jar and I tasted it and it is so good. It's like acidic and it's salty and it's spicy. It's perfect. So I'm just going to like, can I do this with one hand? That's the question. I'm sure I can. I can do anything. Oh, I don't want to just focus on the fish. I need everything. <laughs> ah. All right, I'm just going to like mix this up a bit. Dinner is all in the oven. I just put it in at 170 and I don't know how long for. I imagine like half an hour, but we'll see. And I've just decided that I'm going to make myself a little treat, a little Tuesday treat. I am going to have one of my favorite cocktails, which is a martini made with gin, of course. So I'm gonna use the 40 spotted gin today, this one. And this is the vermouth that I use. And these are the olives that I use. They're just from Coles, they're not really fancy, but I'm obsessed with green olives, not stuffed or anything, um, and they have been pitted. So I've got my martini glass here. Doing about 60 mils of gin. I'm just gonna do like a little splash. I'm gonna go in with my olives and I do at least three <laughs> and I will snack on some more. I love olives so much, let's do four. And then with the olive brine, I'm gonna do like that much. And now, because obviously I keep all of my alcohol in the bar, it's not chilled, so I'm gonna put some whiskey rocks in this 
so they won't dilute my drink but they'll chill it and i'll have it in like a couple minutes so these are my whiskey rocks i just obviously keep them in the freezer <laughs> these ones i got from japan you can pretty much get them anywhere and i'm just gonna sit them there disclaimer this alcoholic beverage is not for the faint of heart it's just basically pure liquor i do also love a cosmopolitan which is a bit more non-offensive <laughs> I decided I'm gonna go all out and make myself a cheese board while the fish cooks. And I'm gonna do this because I have all this cheese that needs to be eaten. Cheese board for one. <laughs> so here we have a Manchego, which is a goat's cheese. It's actually my favorite cheese. Don't mind the phenylephrine eye drops that I accidentally brought home in my scrubs pocket. We have a triple cream French brie. We have, I actually don't know what this one is, but I think it's like a Ma Marsden, Marsden. And this is a rosemary pecorino, and I just have some with crackers and quince. If you are not eating your crackers and cheese with quince, it will change your life. Thank me later. I've just removed the cubes from my martini, and it's ice cold. I should have chilled the glass first, and then mixed everything in a separate glass with ice. I know how to make a martini, but I'm also a lazy girl, so this works just as well. Cheers, grab yourself a drink, whether it's an alcoholic beverage or a cup of tea, and let's unbox some items. Okay, so if you've been following me for a while, following specifically my apartment and like my interior decor, which I love doing, I'm obsessed with everything, aesthetic, furniture, design, whatever. So we moved in here September last year, and our couch is this beautiful beige, it's from Ikea, and I really have always wanted an Hermes throw, which I have. I have it in the brown tan color and I love it. Um, it just sort of sits over the couch on display and it's like the softest, most luxurious thing ever. And I don't think I'll ever part with it because I love it so much. And at the same time as I bought the throw, I also wanted the matching two pillows and i was told like there's a weight they are coming from paris and they have to be made to order whatever it was and that was probably about september or october last year and they have finally arrived i picked them up last week and i'm stoked because now i finally have pretty much a completed living room so i'm gonna open these you guys probably already know what they look like but i'm still so excited that they have finally arrived and it was so funny. So I went to Hermes and they obviously came in the dust bag and they came in a bigger bag, but the bigger bag was just plain white. It wasn't like an Hermes labeled bag. And I was like, have you guys run out of bags? How bizarre. Anyway, I don't mind. It's not like I really have any attachment to the packaging whatsoever. Oh, I love it. It's so, so, so soft. So this is what it looks like. Ta-da! And it matches the throw, which I just have here. I would show you it on the couch, but I'm washing my couch cushions at the moment. Uh, and I obviously, I obviously got two and I believe this is the most popular color. I was really having a hard time between choosing the orange or the black and there's a beige and then this brown, but I'm really happy I chose the brown. As you can see, my apartment is very brown, uh, but obviously we won't live here forever, but I do think brown is a pretty safe color. I did like, I literally loved all of them and I think the orange is so statement. It's classic Hermes. But um, Leo just bought a new boat, and so he's going to be doing that up, and I'm going to be doing the interior decor design, and I think I'll buy an orange or maybe even a navy. I don't know if I've seen a navy one, but I'm sure I could probably find one for the interior of the boat, which will be lovely. So that is one, two. Very happy, practical purchase. I'm always, always, always on this couch, always reading, watching TV with Leo, just chilling. Whenever our friends come over, it's like sort of the center of our apartment. We don't have a dining table. We have a table out on the balcony, but as far as indoor living, if I'm not in my study, I'm on this couch and in the living area. I then also had a little bit of an impromptu purchase. I hadn't seen this before. I knew that Hermes made homewares, they make plates and cups and whatever. And I'd never really looked at them, but I did I did like them. Like they're very beautiful, like fine china, whatever. Had no concept of how much they were or anything. And I didn't intend on buying one, but then I saw this and I was like, ooh. So let me explain. Cute little box. Let's open her up. I don't have a box this size. It's pretty unique. 
I just had to put the heater on because it's so cold and now I'm working up a sweat. It's probably because I've just had a couple of sips of gin. So I ended up getting a little coffee cup from Hermes because it has a koala on it. And it, I'm sure a lot of you know me very well, but not a lot of people know that my favorite animal of all time is a koala. I actually, as a 24 year old, sleep with a teddy and my teddy, I don't want to show you because there's no resemblance to a koala, but it is a koala. It's basically just like a piece of fabric now, but uh, they are my absolute favorite animals ever. I adore koalas and it's really hard for me to not like koala things. So for example, Every love letter that Leo has ever written me has a handwritten drawing of a koala on it. I'll show you. He might die that I'm showing you guys this, but these are his little love letters to me and all of them he hand draws a koala on them because he knows how much I love koalas. And I actually, it just occurred to me that I'm actually wearing koala socks. <laughs> koala Christmas socks. So if that doesn't emphasize how much I love koalas, then I don't know what does. But yes, so this is my mug. It's all these different colors and it says, Hermes around the rim really small it's like nice and discreet and I love that it's kind of like cutesy and playful and childish um, not a lot of like high-end fashion is like this and I really hope that I won't break it but what I also really loved about this is that there's art inside as well and I just love this so much they're hand painted and I'm just I love it so yes there's a koala on one side and then there's a little panda on the other side. And I'm a coffee fiend and I'm always drinking my coffee and so I'm super happy to, had to add this one to my collection. My collection currently consists of two periodic table of elements mugs, two caffeine molecule mugs, a koala mug. I already have a koala mug! <laughs> but it's like big and it's from Kmart and it's grey and it's like in the shape of a koala. And just like a couple of pink Kmart mugs. So. So such a fun unique piece that I'm really excited to add to my collection. I'm like moving luxury now into the kitchen, <laughs> apparently. Okay, now this next one, actually no, we'll, we'll save the best to last. I popped into Louis Vuitton because I need to find a new essay. I was assigned one, but my ride or die, Linda, my essay, she's been my essay for ages, she has moved. She no longer works with Louis Vuitton and I'm devastated, but it's okay. So I went in wanting to get a fragrance because I have seen them everywhere. They have brought out Louis Vuitton fragrance. They're, I want to say there's like 20 different fragrances. Like they've really pushed hard with their fragrances. And I was really curious. So I, I, I was shopping with Leo in the city one day. I think it was last week. And I was like, I just want to go in and smell them. And if I like one, I'll buy one. Because as you guys know, I am very, very picky when it comes to fragrances. There are only three perfumes that I wear. I wear Mont Paris by Yves Saint Laurent. I wear Miss Dior. And I wear, oh my god, I always forget the name of this one. It's a Kate Spade one with the pink lid. Anyway, so I smelt this one. Apparently it's the most popular. It's like a really sweet smelling, like kind of young. He was even like, oh, is that a bit young for you? And I was like, excuse me? Because <laughs> I don't really like floral very much. I just like sort of sweet, fresh smells. So it's the Trappe Reeve. A Trappe Reeve. Anyway. Um, I was actually very surprised, I guess, at the price point of these perfumes. They're not affordable perfumes. Great presentation, beautiful packaging, as you would um, expect for the price. And they do, actually what I do really like about it is you can get it monogrammed, so I did. And what you can do is when you finish it, you take it and get it refilled and it's like half price. So it's really, really cheap to get it refilled. Beautiful packaging, but yes. Yeah, so this I believe was like 400, $480, I wanna say. It was expensive and in my opinion, I mean, I did really like it. I don't regret buying it. I would probably, I would probably buy it again, especially now I know it's not like $480 to refill it as if it would be to buy another one. It's like $200 to refill, which I think is a really good, business model a good sales tactic um i'm looking for the receipt but I, I can't find it i think it was 480 dollars but yeah i like it a lot yeah it's very nice it is also not a parfum it's an eau de parfum which means that I don't think it should be $480. It should definitely be more potent, more concentrated if they're going to be charging that. Um, 
no, it's really nice. It's really nice. So I, I do really like it, but I am a little bit like, mm, is it worth that price? Mm. I mean, I think that if you are a gal on a budget, this is not for you. This is no, by no means a necessity. It's definitely not my favorite perfume. My favorite affordable perfume, to be honest, would be like Rihanna, uh, Beyonce, or the Beyonce one in the red bottle, or like Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. They're like my go-to budget gal perfumes, which to be honest, I haven't used in years, um, but if I was looking for a budget or looking to recommend one there, what I would recommend. And then the next up, I would probably recommend a YSL or the Kate Spade one. I do think that the dual one is really lovely, but again, it's super expensive. We went to Cartier. And now these, both of these things actually were on our wish list. And I have tried this item on, I want to say like four times on four different occasions. So let's start with the smaller one first. Now this one is actually Leo's and he was such a good sport. He let me wait to unbox it with you guys when he could have definitely just opened it himself and worn it. We always, well I always said he got me an engagement ring so I'll get him an engagement ring. He chose this ring from Cartier which is so wholesome and initially I wanted him to get the love ring the Cartier love band which I have I have the wedding band the love band and the the Duke Justin Clue and the wedding band is very traditional it's like the two lovers they get the matching blah 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 but he is obsessed with the Justin Clue like the the nail and so I was like okay whatever and so that's what he opted for sorry I'm ruining the surprise so he got this large white gold Justin Clue ring. It's just the plain one uh, and he is going to wear that as an engagement ring. Again, very unconventional. It's huge on me. Like it won't even... But yeah, it's so shiny and it looks so cute and unique and I love it. And then what I got. So as far as bracelets, I only have a small rose gold Cartier Love bracelet. And this... I think is the perfect next item to pair with that. I do also have a couple of Van Cleef pieces that I think work just so chef's kiss with Cartier. That's why it's so popular. It's because it's stunning and yeah, I have absolutely no qualms with getting something because it's popular as long as I like it. I am not one of those people that are like, oh, it's popular. Even though I love it, I'm not going to get it because like I want to stand out. Which is totally fine if you like that. But I will just buy whatever I like, whether other people like it or not. So, nice big box. And we have... Beautiful Justin Clue in the small size, so in the fine size. Oh my gosh, it's so shiny. And I do have it with diamonds around the head and the tail. And I wear my love bracelet literally 24-7. I never ever take it off. And my new essay, because again, my essay at Cartier, Cairo, she moved to Sydney like forever and ever. So I had to find a new essay and the one that we did find, he is great. Um, he gave us a bottle of champagne and let me just try on everything. And he was literally so much fun. I will tell you his name. His name was Eric. Eric in Brisbane, Cartier. Love, love your work. So I'm going to pop this on and he let me try on like my dream stack, which is these two. And then the third one being a parfait rose gold in the fine. And so I'll show you a photo of that because I did take a photo and I'm just so in love. I just chef's kiss. I also did an order from the iconic because I have no winter clothes and it's getting chilly here um none of this is sponsored i'm hoping they all fit pretty well this is from friend of audrey it's this oatmeal colored knit which again i literally didn't have a single knit which is crazy uh but in in fairness there's probably like two or three weeks in australia where you can wear winter clothes 
Oh, it's nice and soft. Love. Okay. Is this one? That's definitely going to fit. It's very soft. I think it's very flattering. 10 out of 10 for that one. And one more. Oh, I also got some Spanx. I never in my life have ever worn Spanx. But something in my heart told me that now is probably the time. Uh, because in order to wear tight dresses, I think I need a little something. <laughs> a stocking for my body, if you will. Um, and it's hilarious because this is the part that goes around my body. And I tried it on. And to be honest, it could have sucked in my tummy a little more. But I think it was like a one size fits all kind of situation. So I think I ordered th four things. I ordered four things from the Iconic. Next up, we have something that's white. I'm currently halfway through the first season of Handmaid's Tale after reading it, and it's great. I'm really enjoying it. Ooh, yep, just like this plain white textured turtleneck skivvy, perfect as a base layer. And yeah, iconic. If you want to like collab, that would be sweet. <laughs> yes, love this one. Plain, basic, black. I'm really liking more conservative, like, tops lately that come up around my neck. I think as well because I'm, I'm going to get my boobs done next month. Uh, I'm not one to... I don't think I'm going to want to show them off a lot in, like, day-to-day -day wear. More high neck kind of business. And we have one more. Something else that's black. This is from... Atmos and here. I liked a lot of this brand stuff actually. This is a similar thing to the first one. It's textured. It's like this kind of ribbed high neck and yeah, just like a plain little skivvy. So overall, I think a very successful haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That's my microwave. I'm going to go and eat dinner and watch Handmaid's Tale.